Hi, you guys. Welcome to Thursday, the real Thursday, um, April 30th. Sorry about losing my sense of time yesterday. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know a couple of things, okay? Um, number one, Friday is going to be a Friday day, so you can go back and correct things. Um, and then we are working on um, a review of everything for this. Now, this is going to be due, it says tomorrow, but... I will take it um, by the end of next week, okay? It is gonna be a really cool thing. It's a quilt square, and I'm gonna get us started, and we're gonna go over, there's a cheat sheet that gives you things. So um, anyway, I'll start with that after our prayer. Sorry, in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. <laughs> Abel's gonna pray with us. As we pray together, teach me, God, to add love and mercy towards others, to subtract sin and anxiety from my life, to multiply the fruits of the Holy Spirit, and to divide our differences as I share with others acts of mercy today. Let us all pray for those who have lost someone that they love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And would you add in your own intentions, please? We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those um, who are sick, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Okay. Um, so the other thing I had to tell you before we moved on was that um, on Friday, I will not be here to answer your questions. My mom is moving here from Michigan, and I'm going to pick her up. So I'm going to leave at like 4 a.m. and drive halfway and get her and then my daughter is going to come with me and she'll drive our car back and then I'll drive my mom's car back. So she'll have to drive halfway. Phew. Then we'll move her in this weekend. So that should be exciting. Um, so you can try. But if you have a lot of questions, talk to Mrs. Brown and she will hopefully be able to help you as well. Okay. Um, so we're going to get started on this. Let's look at, I wrote some of the definitions down. Let's take a look at those. So if we translate something, I am talking about sliding this way, sliding backwards this way, sliding up or sliding down. Um, and all the points stay together, right? Like if I have a square, I can't just move one point up so it becomes something else. It means taking that whole object and moving it up. Um, reflect, flip it over, could be to the left, to the right, could be up, it could be down. Um, rotate means to turn. So I take something, I take that whole shape and it turns. 90 degrees means like it's up right here and now I move it this way. Um, 180, it goes like if I start up here, then it's gonna go all the way down, right? So I start here and it goes all the way down. Um, 270 um, is, like 90 degrees backwards or go 90, 180, and another um, 90, which is 270. So that's like three quarters of a turn. Dilations, um, that's an O, does not look like an O. That's an A, does not look like an A. There we go. Dilations means to multiply both coordinates by the scale factor, and we'll talk about that as we go. Okay, so let's get started. Um, it would be helpful if you got your graph paper out. As I told you yesterday, you will need graph paper. Oh, there goes my tea, like always. Um, so we're going to do this together. If you don't have it, then um, you can um, download it and run it off. Or you can, hopefully everybody should have graph paper. It was in your, um, it was in your uh, things that you needed at the beginning of the year. Hopefully you still have it. Um, like I said, you can run it off or I guess you can make your own. That would be really hard. Um, so here we go. We're gonna plot points zero, zero. Remember this is our Y, which means we go up and down. 
This is the X, which goes left and right. We always do X first and then Y. So my first point is zero, zero. It's not a six, it's a zero. So that means I start at my origin or the very middle and I don't go left and I don't go right because that moves zero and I don't go up and I don't go down. So I have my first point at the origin, right there in the middle. My next point, and I'm looking at my directions sheet, you guys. That's what I'm looking at right now. So you can look at the same thing. It says do six, zero. I move X first. So if I do X first, it means one, two, three, four, five, six. And then do I go up and down? No, it says zero. So right here, I'm going to do my dot. So now, so far, here's what it looks like right there and there. Um, the next point is 11, 5. This comes first. Okay, so I go over 11. There's 11. And then I go up positive 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Where do I start every time? 0, 0. I go over 11, up 5. Okay. Um, and now it says 5, 5. My last point is 5, 5. So I go over 5, up 5. All right. Um, and then it said... It's going to tell you to label things, and I don't think you need to label it because we're going to draw something with it, okay? Um, connect the points with a ruler if you're supposed to. Oh, man. Right away. <laughs> Not staying on my line. Not using a ruler, but I'm following this on graph paper, so I feel pretty good about it. Those are connected. Now I don't feel good about it, so let's get a ruler. You don't want to do weird points on this, okay? What kind of shape are you seeing with this? Do you guys know what this is called? It is a parallelogram. Okay. And my bottom line is right here, okay? Um, now, it says, number two, reflect over the y-axis. Over the y-axis. Here's my y. So, uh, I'm going to do the exact same shape. Now, if this is easier for you, and I'm totally good with this, um, you can. Yours is not going to be nearly as big as mine. Um, if you would like, you could, oh man, this is just going to fit. You could cut this out um, I'm going to do a cutting of this because I think it will help you be able to see it a little bit better. So I'm going to reflect this. So once you get your first one drawn, if you want to, to do this, um, you can. So I'm going to reflect this over the y-axis. Here's my y. So if you have not labeled your axis, y, do you see that? And x down here. x, y. Okay. Um, so reflect means to flip over. So. If I flipped this whole thing over, what is it going to look like? A mirror image of that. So, it should be and then it should be here at negative 6. And then I should be able to draw this to this. Okay, now let's just take a look at these numbers and see what we notice. This went to 6. This goes to negative 6. This point 
is 0, 0. This point is 0, 0. This point is at 4, I'm sorry, at 5, 5. This one is at negative 5, 5. Whoa, look at that. All right, and this one is at um, 11, 5. This one is at, can you guess? Negative 11, 5. Hmm, all right. Can you see that all right? So I have flipped it over. Okay, my next set of directions. Say, number three, reflect number two, which is this. Oh, I guess I'm gonna have to label it rats. Okay, lightly, one, two, okay. Um, reflect number two over the x-axis. This is my x-axis. So, if you do this, <coughs> you absolutely have to match it up. You can't just go, oh, it's going to be like this. No. Match it up. And it's going to reflect over. And I have to keep that last line exactly the same. So it's going to go to here. That one's there. Gosh, who is this? I don't know who that is. Okay. Hopefully it's nothing too important. <laughs> Negative 11, all right. So it's gonna be along this line. This line, okay. I have a wrinkle in there, that's why that did that. Okay, oh, look at that. Can you kind of guess what this is gonna be? Okay, so this is number, so label is three, okay. Number four says reflect three over the, Y axis. So, I'm gonna line it up and it's gonna go over the Y axis. So I'm gonna flip it over because it's gonna be mirror image. Now, this is also gonna be a mirror image of number one. Um, so you should be able to guess what um, where all of your lines are. So this should be on negative five. This should be at negative 11, 5, and I should be able to draw my lines. Easier to use this. Here. This is going to be way easier for you. I would not use pen, people. I would definitely use pencil. If you used pen, I would stop and go back and do it in pencil. Okay, look at that. Do these all look exactly the same? I have flipped them over. It's kind of an optical illusion. Super cool. All right, I'm gonna do one more, number five with you. Rotate number four. Oh, I was supposed to label this number four. Okay, I'm gonna rotate that. Um, 90 degrees counterclockwise. So let's talk about, think about a clock. Or can I draw a clock? Okay. When I, so this is at three, this is at 12, this is nine, this is six. When a clock is moving, what way is it going? This way. That's called clockwise. So counterclockwise means to the left. It's going the opposite way. All right, so it said move this counterclockwise 90 degrees. 90 degrees. Okay, whoop. See, that didn't work. Okay, so I'm going to move this, and it's going to be 90 degrees. So right now it's going this way. It's going to look like that, isn't it? So I'm going to move this. That point is going to stay right there. And I have just moved this 90 degrees. All right, so I'm going to be drawing this, following up this line. Um, okay, and that should have followed that line exactly, but when I did it, I didn't draw it very well. Okay, and then obviously down here. Do you see how I rotated that? So I took number, what was it that I did? Number um, figure four. Okay, so this is five. So I took figure four, 
okay? I rotated it. 90 degrees means like an L, okay? So I looked at this line, and if it goes an L, then it's going to go up there. So it went up here, and it looks like this. All right. Label it number five. Do label these. Just label them lightly. You'll have to be able to know which one is which, but you also want to be able to, we're going to color these in when we're done, so you want to be able to take them out. All right. Um, so you're going to be doing a number of rotatings, and then you're going to be doing some reflections. If I were translating, let's say I, I'm translating this, and it says I'm going down, straight down, so it would be like that, okay? Um, it'll tell you how far to move your points. So if this one moves um, one, two, three, four, five points, whoops, it would be right here, um, it would move down there. This one would move five. Every one of them would move five down. If it says go to the left, four, then I'm going to go one, two, three, four. So this point would be right here. Every point on here should have moved four. This one was one, two, three, four. This one is one, two, three, four. Do you see how that happened? And this one is one, two, three, four. Yep, they all moved four. So whatever it tells you, you're going to move that. If when it comes to doing dilations, you're going to multiply. So if this is um, 0, 6, and I multiply it by 2, then 0 times 2 is 0, and 6 times 2 is 12. So it would be at 0, 12. Okay? Um, take it one step at a time. This is right so far. So yours should look like this. You can take a screenshot, or you can do whatever you need to do. Um to make this look right, okay? And up here is where I have the numbers and where we plotted our very first one. Okay, follow directions. So this is using all of the things that we've done this week, putting them all together. Translate, slide. Reflect, flip over. Rotate, turn. And then dilate, which is multiplying both X and Y by the same number, okay? I have faith in you. You can do this. When you are done, you're going to color it in. And it's kind of think about, like, look at it when it's done. I think you can already start to see some patterns. You don't want to just do random drawings. Maybe pick some things that kind of seem like they go together. And everyone's going to pick different things. And different parts are almost like pop out at you. Um, it's a really cool illusion. And when we're all done, you're going to hand them in and um, I'm going to put it all together to make a huge quilt. And it's going to look so cool. And we'll be able to hang it up in our room next year. Haven't figured out how to get them yet, but we'll figure that out. Okay. So take your time with this. Use a pencil and eraser. Use a ruler. Do you not have a ruler? Then just cut out a piece of paper like this and and trace that, okay? You can use cardboard, you can use, you know, a book, okay? Um, you know, you can use your book to, to trace down um, anything that has a straight edge. So use your imagination, be good at this, and have fun with it. All right.